we need to talk about FU money and specifically how much is FU money. And the reason that we need to talk about this is because everybody's talking about FU money today. And why is that? Well, everybody's at least my favorite rocket man anyway, Elon Musk just went on a stage. He was being interviewed by a guy and a ton of CEOs, all these other people around there, and they're asking him some questions. And he basically came out and said, if you're trying to blackmail me with money and saying you're not gonna advertise with my company because of something, whatever, and you know, call do this in private, F you, like don't advertise with me. Like, I mean, on stage said it, and then he said it again to reiterate the point because there was just this silence over the crowd. And it's, um, it was just an amazing moment in business history. You just don't see that level of, honesty like these are things that people are saying in halls and in boardrooms and stuff like that you don't say this on stage unless you're Elon Musk so that got a lot of people thinking what is FU money like what does that really mean and you know everybody's going oh it must be nice to be uh, you know a multi-billionaire one of the richest men in the world you don't have to worry about this stuff but you know it kind of got me thinking and I said you know I have FU money and I'm not a billionaire and I started really thinking to the point of like, well, what is FU money? And at what point do you really reach it? So I started going back and I started kind of thinking about it. And I remember when I hit my first 100K, all right? And when I say 100K, I mean net worth. Any of these numbers I throw out, I'm talking about net worth. So when I hit, when I realized I hit that first 100K, it was a very, it was a huge light bulb moment for me. I didn't even mean to calculate it. I was actually... Um, you know, just doing our, our cash flow and debts and just looking at total assets and liabilities because we were paying off my wife's loans at the time, $265,000 in loans. So like I said, I was not thinking that we had that. But as our income continued to rise and our debts went down, we reached that threshold of, yeah, we still had a lot of debt, but we did have 100K net worth. And I was shocked. I was like, whoa, we're, if we sold everything, we could pay off all our bills and we could have a hundred thousand dollars pile of cash just sitting right there that we could you know jump in and play in like scrooge mcduck or something so that was a huge light bulb moment for me and then you know as we continue to pay down the debt we continue to save and invest more different things like that i feel comfortable saying this with a caveat i think that true fu money is about two hundred fifty thousand dollars of a net worth okay now that is with a very big caveat. FU money is not really an amount. And you're like, Steven, what are you talking about? You idiot. You just put <laughs> an amount on it. You just had 250K. I know I did. Okay, hold on. Let me explain. Okay, the 250K I think is as general as a number I'm going to be able to give people because of what it means. If you have a 250K net worth, then you are actively saving, investing, you know, doing a lot of the right things. Um, sure, there could be situations where it's like, well, my house is just appreciated recently and I, you know, it's worth 250K. Okay, that's fine. I understand these things are gonna happen. Like I said, th this is not a perfect number. So take it for what it's worth. What FU money is really about is time freedom. That's what it's really about. Because when I reach 250K, I was able to go and look at my job and say, I don't need this. Like if you were to let me go right now or fire me, or if I was, you know, if I just wanted to quit, I don't need this. And I don't need to have something lined up immediately after. Sure, if I was ever gonna leave a job, I would do my best to make sure that happened, but I didn't need it. And I had, you know, all this time freedom to where my bills are gonna get paid. We wouldn't have to change our lifestyle. And I wasn't gonna have to stress for more than a year when you hit that, that's truly where FU money comes into play. That's what that means. So for some people, if you live in a van down by the river, right? It used to be a joke nowadays. Now it's something people want to do. But if you live in a van down by the river and your monthly expenses are something like $20,000 uh, a year, right? Well, then guess what? You don't need $250,000 even. You need $40,000. And then you can live doing whatever you want for two years, right? So that's the point I'm trying to make. It's about time freedom more than it is dollars, right? But if I were to put a dollar amount on it, I would say about 250K net worth. I think that's really a number that's going to work for the majority of people. Now, 
if you are somebody who has really high expenses, um, you live in a very high cost of living area, like a New York or an LA or San Francisco, something like that, sure, 250K might not be enough. Maybe you need more. Again, this is conditional. You can take it for what it's worth. But what I will absolutely put a number on or, or, or is, is probably um, 18. I think 18 is that magic number. When you have, if you sold everything and uh, you had 18 months worth of, yeah, if I got rid of my stocks, if I got rid of this, um, I would have 18 months worth of, of cash to be able to continue living my lifestyle. That's, that's really, to me, if you can't sit back and go a year and a half, I mean, you can figure out what you want to do in a year and a half. You can weather the, some of the worst recessions in the world with 18 months you know, worth of reserves and things like that. So that's what FU money is. FU money is about time wealth. And like I said, if I put a number on it, I'm, I'm going to stick to my guns and hold it at 250K. So you're free to disagree with that, but that's what I truly believe. And sure, when you're looking at Elon Musk and you're going, man, this guy, like, it's worth billions of dollars and all that, it still took a lot of bravery to do what he did because the implications, if, and don't get me wrong, this is a calculated move on his part. He doesn't do these things willy nilly, okay? He knows what he's doing. Now, is it gonna pay off? I don't know. We'll find that out. You know, this could galvanize some other people to go because there's an agenda behind all of this. It could backfire. But he's worth billions of dollars, but he's playing with billions of dollars too. So like I said, this is a risk, but at the end of the day, he'll be fine, okay? So, so that's FU money. I want you to really think about it. What does FU money mean for you? You can use a 250K net worth number if you want. If you're not comfortable with that, you're like, man, it really needs to be half a million. That's fine, I don't really care. What I care about is the time wealth. What gets you to 18 months of being able to say, I can do whatever I want. If me, if you're married and you have a spouse and another income coming in, it's like, if we had zero income happening, could we do 18 months? That's what I want you to think about. That's what I want you to start working to because when that happens, man, things open up for you. Options that you never even thought about before. You start asking questions about your life. Like, well, is this really what I wanna do? Do I wanna do something different? I mean, like all these things that, um, I was reading this book just recently and um, this guy was talking to his girlfriend. She grew up on the streets, very poor. Um, he grew up in, uh, you know, living a lavish lifestyle, all this other stuff. And he was having this conversation about these theoretical politicians and all this other stuff and things that they would say. He said, what do you think about that? And she goes, you know, I never really thought about that, to be honest with you, because, you know, for me, where I was living, I was just worried about where my next meal was coming from. And when that's what you're worried about, my safety, my meal, essentially Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we're talking about like the lowest rung. When you're worried about stuff like that, you can't really think further. You can't think about the bigger things. You can't think about the, well, what, why am I here? What do I want to do with my life? That stuff doesn't come together. So when you get beyond that initial bar of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the, the shelter, the food, um, you know, all of that, then things really start to open up for you. And that's what FU money is all about. It's about breaking beyond that barrier and elevating yourself to a completely different level. So make it a goal, go get yourself some FU money.